Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to Quarantine Cooking. I guess that's what we're calling this. Just want to say quickly, seems like you guys like the jump rope video. We're going to be working on another one, kind of like a routine you could follow. Uh, this is a cooking video, but I just want to give you guys an update on that since uh, you guys enjoyed that. So what we're making today is actually linguine carbonara. Typically you do this with spaghetti. I don't have any. It's kind of hard to get to the stores. So I have linguine. I'm going to use this. Spaghetti is better. The carbonara sauce coats the spaghetti. Um, nice and evenly, but it still tastes good because it's a good sauce. So ingredients, spaghetti or linguine. We got pecorino cheese. You could also use Parmesan cheese, perfectly fine. Uh, salt, black pepper, two eggs, that's for two servings. And the star of the show here, guanciale. So if you guys don't know what guanciale is, this is peak cheek. Peak cheek? No, this, is, <laughs> this is pig cheek, so pig jowls. It's like they're big fat faces. This is a chunk of their face right here. Shout out to my dad for the hookup. This is expensive stuff. So like this might be like 35 or 40 bucks. If you can't find this, it's really hard to find. You probably have to buy it online, but if you can't find it, pancetta is perfectly fine. Some people use bacon, but if you want to experience a true Italian <laughs> flavor of this dish, try it with the guanciale. It's amazing. Right. And linguine. Spaghetti. True Italian. <laughs> <laughs> so just to give you guys a little close-up of what this thing looks like, it's already coated with some spices and herbs. You can see it, it almost looks like a wagyu right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like it's high fat um, and it's, it's pure deliciousness. Let me turn it around here. Um, we'll probably do, let's do something like this. Looks good. We'll do maybe three, what do you think, three of these strips or two? Do one more. And then we'll see if that's enough. I might have to cut these smaller. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be cutting these smaller. All right, so next step, we're gonna crack some eggs. Got two eggs here. Typically, what I like to do is for two servings, two eggs, one whole egg, and just the egg yolk from the other one. So we'll just go ahead and crack that in. Uh, and then this one, like I said, we just wanna get rid of the egg whites. Just gonna make the uh, sauce a little thicker with just the egg yolk. All right, cool. Bam. All right, so next up, we got the eggs here. So just a little bit of salt, not too much, tiny bit, just a little bit like that. And we're gonna pop in some black pepper. That's a good amount. And now the pecorino cheese. And like I said, you could use Parmesan cheese. That's perfectly fine. I like the flavor of this. So this is kind of like our sauce, the eggs. The raw eggs you'll see later maybe some of you guys are gonna be like uh, grossed out but this tastes really good so mix it up get the cheese all mixed in all evenly mixed up I'm gonna put like actually a little bit more cheese in here how do you know it needs more cheese you kind of want it to be you can see how it's like liquidy. You want it to become more of like a thicker consistency. So I'm gonna add more. All right, that Ching. might be good. <laughs> I'm eating this because it tastes good. Cheat day. <laughs> that's that's thicker, so I think we're good. And then later we're gonna stick more cheese in there, more black pepper. So I got the water boiling already over here. I'm just gonna salt the water. So Celtic sea salt, that's my go-to, I love that salt. It has a ton of minerals in there, which is healthy for you. So that fake salt, yeah, I don't use that stuff. Eh, put a little bit more. The Table saltier salt. the better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going for half the box, which I think should be enough. What do you think? That should be good. That's a lot. We've been doing HelloFresh for like a couple months now. And when they give us pasta, it's like <laughs> enough for I don't know, like a little baby or something. I don't even understand. It is enough though. I know, it ends up we're, being enough. We're but. always surprised, but <laughs> when we cook, we always definitely over, over add. Yes. All right, we got the pasta cooking. Now we're gonna start cooking the guanciale. A tiny drop, like you don't even need the oil. 
Let that heat up for like two seconds. And then add the guanciale in. This is like a minute later. Yeah, it's looking good, it smells good. So you just wanna occasionally, you know, flip them over a little bit. You could use a wooden spoon, whatever you got. But you can see it's the, the fat from it is actually coming out into the pan. We don't want to get rid of that because that's actually going to be part of the sauce as well. So we just want to crisp them up a little bit and these should be almost done. You can see the fat is actually sort of becoming translucent. All right, so these were literally cooking for like maybe three minutes. Um, you can tell when they're done if they look like that. Slight crisp to it. And now I just want to get it out of this pan. Make sure to keep some of that oil still in the pan. So we just want the guanciale. It kind of looks like roasted potatoes. <laughs> that's funny. So that's all the fat. So that's the fat, some of that olive oil. I'm gonna leave that there. That's all flavor right there. Mm. I, you know, I don't know. I, I guess I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. I mean. It is a high fat. Yeah, there's, it's uh, a lot of fat. It's, it's probably not dish. something you wanna eat every single day. <laughs> Pasta's actually almost done. What I want to do is just scoop out some of that water. You don't need too much. I just grabbed two ounces. We're probably going to use a lot less than that. So like I said, pasta's almost done. I just want to try one real quick. Um, supposedly, if you, to know if it's al dente, you literally take the pasta like this, and then if, <laughs> so you take the pasta like this, and supposedly if you throw it at the wall, and, it, and then what you do is you throw it at the wall, and then if it sticks, you know it's ready. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's stuck on there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fail. I don't even know if that's true. Ah. So you're the al dente test. Yeah. That's more accurate. Tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> it's done. Al dente. Perfect. What is it? To the tooth? <laughs> yeah. To the window. To the wall. Alright, so I got the pan over here with the guanciale oil. Um, on like, all right, so I have the pan here with the guanciale grease and all that stuff on low, as low as possible. And then we're putting the spaghetti in. And at this point, it's going to be turned off. So I turned off the gas. And we actually kind of want it off the, um, off the gas or the electric, whatever you want to call it. Put a little bit of that pasta water in there. We'll see if we need more. Mix it up to get it mixed in with all that grease and all that fat flavor from the guanciale. <laughs> So at this point, you kind of want the spaghetti to just be warm, not completely hot. Why is that? You just want it to be warm, because if it's too hot, it'll turn into like a scrambled eggs. You want it to be like more of a cream. So let me just let this sit even a little bit more. And I guess we're good. Let's just go for it. I feel, this part I always sort of mess up because I have the heat still too high, but it's fine. It's going to taste good no matter what. <laughs> How am I doing this? I don't know. How am I holding it? <laughs> I'm trying to get it aimed perfectly for the camera, but and mix it up. This is where, um, so the heat from the pasta is actually going to cook the egg. So it's not like you're eating it raw. You know what I mean? That's probably why some people might be scared to try this, but it's all good. I haven't gotten any salmonella. Have you? No, not yet. So you can see it's, yeah, it's pretty creamy. I'm going to actually add a little bit more water, pasta water. It's pretty creamy. It didn't clump up. No, yeah, that looks amazing. No scrambled eggs. <laughs> Ready up. Actually, add the guanciale back and just mix it up. All right, here we go with the serving. Nice. Top it off with some guanciale. I love how creamy it is. Mm -hmm. Came out perfect. The that first few delicious. times I made this, like it was literally scrambled eggs, and I was like so pissed off. It took a few tries to get it right, 
But um, if any of you Italian people are watching this, let me know what you think. Did I kill it or what? <laughs> Ooh, linguini carbonara. It spoke to me. Yeah, right, that's speaking to me too. I got a little bit of leftovers. Last step, a little bit of black pepper topped on there. And then a little bit of tell me when. <laughs> a little bit of tell me when. Never. <laughs> Love cheese. Awesome. All right, let me get you. I'm going to do cheese first. Then I'll get Thank you. The black you like black pepper? You want anything or no? I'll have a crackle. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. All right, I'm, I'm ready to taste it. Go ahead. I wish we had spaghetti, man. Mmm, so good. Does it make a difference with the linguine? More pasta eat? Yeah, it's a little too much, but it's good. It's still got that flavor there. Mm. We definitely got to jump rope later. Yeah, all right, cool. My turn. <laughs> all right, give it a shot. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's so creamy. Definitely. And the guanciale is like nice and crispy. That's how you like it, right? Yeah, I don't like it when it's soft. It's like too fatty. I like it when it's like <laughs> nice crispy. <and> hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let us know what you think about this recipe. If you've never had it, you've probably had it in restaurants before. They typically don't make it like this. They make it like some American kind of way or something. With, with spaghetti. Like, oh, well, <laughs> spaghetti, yes. I, I guess I screwed but it up too. But not guanciale. I can't Usually hate. not guanciale. Well, they, they add like cream and stuff too in it and okay. whatnot. So it's a little different, like peas. Mm. I don't think that's a real, this is, the, I believe this is the real way, just because I said that. But anyway, yeah, we'll do some more recipe videos. Like I said, next week, early next week, we should have another jump rope video. Um, we have to do that to burn off these calories. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you in another one. Bye.